Welcome to the first and what will be a series of quick tips for Studio One 3.5. Recently, I've been receiving a high volume of comments and questions about particular functions within Studio One. And sometimes I'm not always able to get back with everyone. And as time goes by and as the con channel continues to grow, I feel like this is going to be even more difficult for me to get through. And a lot of the topics or some of them I have covered in my longer format tutorials. Some of them that I will be covering I have not talked about. But the format of these is essentially they'll be three minutes or less. Some of them may only be one minute, but they'll be useful information on different functions and features within Studio One presented uh, in a straightforward manner so that you can quickly learn what you want to learn and move on. Now, I still will be producing the longer format tutorials. Those won't be as often as these quick tips, of course, maybe, you know, two or three times a week. I have the longer format, but uh, each day we're going to do these quick tips. And for those of you who are short on time, this is going to allow you to master Studio One one little bit at a time. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with the first tip. And that's going to be how to nudge our MIDI notes. So here I've got a MIDI part with a few MIDI notes inside. I'll double click to open up the editor. Now we can nudge one note or a group of notes all together. I'll just go ahead and select these first two MIDI notes. And then in order to nudge this, all we would need to do is hold Alt on our keyboard and then use the right or left arrow to then nudge those. Now these are moving by 16th notes and that is because our snap to grid is activated. If I press in on the keyboard, on my QWERTY keyboard, or you can press this icon there to deactivate the snap to grid, hold Alt and then in this way we move in milliseconds. I'm just holding my right arrow and you can see if I just move one at a time, you can see how that's moving in a more precise way. Okay, and that's how you can nudge your MIDI notes within Studio One. 